Hello students, welcome to my channel. In my today's class, I am going to start the chapter Polynomial of Standard 9th NCRT syllabus. So before learning this, <coughs> before learning this chapter Polynomials, uh, a few of the basic things we learn in this. See, first and foremost, Polynomials include the expressions. How the expressions will be formed that we will see now and then we will go for the polynomials. See here, <coughs> first I am taking x, x is a variable okay? and 2 is a constant, x is a variable and 2 is a constant, x itself we call it as a term. Okay, x is a term, 2 is a term. When these two together combined an expression, x plus 2 is an expression. The same way, again some other terms also we can take, that is 3x square is one term. Then 3x square is added to 2 and this is equal to 0. This is also an expression. This is one expression. And this is one term. This is one term. This is a constant. But it is a term. Term of this expression. I hope you understood now. What are the uh, terms and the expression. This is one term. This is one term. Both together we call it as an expression. Okay. An expression. The same way, this is one term, this is one term. So, now you understood what are the terms and what are the expression. Okay. Now, in this expression only, there are three types. That is, monomial, monomial expression. What is this monomial? Monomial contains only one term. Monomial expression contains only one term for example 4x uh, 5y uh, 3x to the power 3 and uh, uh, 50y to the power 7 like this these all are the monomial see monomial means mono mono means here single mono means one or single is monomial <coughs> See here, this is one term, this is one term, one, one. So, this expression is containing or this expression only we can say containing only one term is called as monomial. So, that means mono means one or single term. The expression having only one term is called as monomial. The same way we will have the... <coughs> Binomial also. Binomial. Binomial, the name itself is saying that by, by means two. Okay, two. That means the expression containing two terms. For example, see here, 2x square plus 3. Uh, 3b square minus 4. Then a uh, 10 z square uh, plus 20. See, just you observe here the number of the <coughs> terms. Here 1, here 1. 2 terms, 2 terms, 2 terms. So, these all are called as binomials. Okay. So, the next same way we will have the uh, trinomials. That is a 3 term binomial, polynomial. Trinomial. The name itself is saying, tri means here, three, you know, triangle, three angles, triangle, like that here, tri means three, trinomial means it is containing three terms, okay, it is containing three terms, example, see now, uh, 3x cube plus 2x minus 3, this is one trinomial, how many terms are there, see here, 1, 2, 3, okay, the same way, 4y square minus uh, 3y plus 2. 3 terms. The same way 
this uh, one two three terms one two three terms so it is called as a trinomial polynomial the same way we learn the <coughs> now the polynomials what are polynomials we will see now see some of the expressions we have seen already what are those expressions we will see see already in the 8th standard <coughs> in the 8th standard you have learnt that the expressions like a plus b whole square i hope you remember this a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square okay the same way you already learnt a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square and also you know that a square minus b square is nothing but a plus b a minus b these all are expressions these are expressions see these are also expressions but both together they are called as identities these identities you have learnt identities you have learnt in the last year they are useful now in the ninth standard polynomials okay just i recalled your memory so <clears throat> now in the same way you are learning x plus y whole square there a plus b whole square was there here x plus y whole square is nothing but x square plus 2xy plus y square the same way x minus y whole square is equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square okay same way x square minus y square is nothing but x plus y x minus y okay so just i recalled your memory through these identities and these identities are containing the expressions okay now we will see the definition of a polynomial okay what is polynomial we will see now algebraic expression containing a variable and power of that variable must be as a whole number what is this we will see now see x square plus x plus 2 is an algebraic expression okay algebraic expression means that is one uh, so many terms will be there in that so here see three terms are there this is one trinomial in this trinomial is this an expression trinomial expression it is here variable is x okay variable is x and here power is 2 and here power is 1 like this expression containing the power as a whole number is called as polynomial is called as a polynomial <coughs> expressions expressions containing variables of power as a whole number is called as polynomials i hope you understood this one see then what kind of expressions will be uh, not having the whole numbers for example you see here root x plus 2 here see what is the power of this x power of x is half half plus 2 see here this is containing the it is half is not a whole number so x is not containing the whole number as a power so this is not the polynomial polynomial should contain the power as a whole number okay then only it is polynomial this is what about the polynomial you know about the terms already we have seen next we will see the coefficient see coefficients x cube x cube plus 3x square plus 4x minus 2 okay is a polynomial is it a polynomial or not yes it is polynomial why it is polynomial because here the variable is containing the whole number as its powers or exponents so it is a polynomial now we will see the coefficients of this polynomial what is the coefficient of x cube here 1 what is the coefficient of x square here 3 numerical coefficient what is the numerical coefficient of x here 4 then like this see minus 2 is a constant 
Now, what are the powers here? The power of x is 3. These are the numerical coefficients. These are the numerical coefficients. Coefficients. Okay. Now, power here. Power of x is 3. Power of here. The x is 2. Here, the power of x is 1. Here, see, minus 2. It is a constant. But what is the power of x here? Here, the power of x is 0. Power of x is here, 0. So, this is called as 0 polynomial. Why here power of x is 0? You know that x to the power 0 is always 1. x to the power 0 is 1. So, what was there? Minus 2 was there. Minus 2 x to the power 0 is nothing but minus 2 into 1 that is minus 2 only. Okay. So, this is x to the power 0 is 1. You know this one. Already you have learnt it. So, <coughs> remember that x to the power 0 is 1 and minus 2 is called as 0 polynomial. Minus 2 is called as 0 polynomial. Later you learn this one. More about that. Now, what is uh, conclusion now? What are the polynomials now? Polynomials containing the variable and that variable is having the power as a whole number. Then such expressions are called as polynomials. I hope you understood now. Okay. Polynomials. Now, next point we will see how to denote the polynomials. Suppose, suppose the polynomial is in uh, x variable for example see here x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 plus 4x plus 3 this is one polynomial okay this polynomial is in a which uh, variable it is in the variable x so this is denoted by p of x polynomial of x is equal to x cube plus x square plus 4x plus 3. Okay. Suppose the polynomial is in the variable y. So, that is denoted by q of y. q means that is a polynomial. p means also polynomial of x, polynomial of y. y means it should be containing variable as the y. y square plus 2 is also polynomial. That polynomial is in which variable? y. So, it is a polynomial of y. So, this is what the method of <coughs> denoting the polynomials. Suppose even if it is in the variable y, y cube plus 2y square plus 4y minus 5. So, this can be denoted as R of y. That means polynomial of y is equal to this is polynomial. Okay. So, polynomial will be denoted by any one of the letter and here in the bracket you have to write the variable. Which variable is there? No? That one. So, this is what how to denote or how to denote the polynomials. Okay. This is what denote, how to denote the polynomials. Next, we will see degree of the polynomial. See, now degree of the polynomial. One polynomial I will write uh, a cube plus uh, 2a square 2a square minus 3a plus 5 is a polynomial. Why we are saying this is polynomial? Because this polynomial is having the a as the variable and the variables exponents or exponents of this variable all are whole numbers 3, 2, 1, 0. So, this is a polynomial. And what is the degree of this polynomial? See the highest power we have to see. Highest power is here 3. Here A here A is not there. But its power is here 0. Here A is 1. Here A is 2. Here A is 3. Which is the highest degree here? 3. So degree of this polynomial is 3. Degree of this polynomial of this polynomial is 3. Degree of this polynomial is 3. I hope you understood. Okay. The same way, one more I will take. A to the power 4. A to the power 4 plus 
ए टू द पावर टू प्लस फोर ए माइनस थ्री एर वॉट इज द डिग्री ऑफ दिस पोलिनाम यस ओबियसली इट इज फोर ओनली बिकॉज द हाइएस्ट पावर इज ए फोर द डिग्री ऑफ दिस पोलिनाम इज फोर दिस इज वॉट डिग्री ऑफ द पोलिनाम आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड सो बाय दिस द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस पोलिनाम इज कंक्लूडेड सो इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द exercise this the first exercise of the polynomials thank you for watching share and subscribe my channel